I'm Terry from D-Lab, and I want to show you some things that went on with the new amp build I was doing. I picked up this little unit on eBay, and uh, it's actually an old stereo decoder made in Japan back in the 1970s. And I thought, eh, that's a cool cabinet, you know, it's got some room, it's got a metal chassis, so I thought, I'll make an app out of it. So, All right, well, this little gadget in its past life <clears throat> was a stereo decoder that you'd hook onto your home stereo system. I picked it up uh, for like a dollar, okay? And I thought, well, this would be kind of a neat little cabinet to make into an amp. So I cut the slot here for ventilation. And of course, you can see the chassis fits in there real tight. So the output tube's real close. I had some uh, <clears throat> perforated metal that I need to bring up from the bottom. But it was kind of close and I was afraid it'd hit the tube. So I thought, well, It'd be really nice if I could put an inset, you know, put a little ledge inside of this cabinet uh, so that this metal would sit up in and wouldn't hit the tube when I slid in the chassis. So that was a bit of a challenge, and I found a really neat way to do it. So let me take you over to the mill and I'll show you. All right, so to uh, make the inside ledge, I used a router bit. Of course, now the router bit is supposed to cut on this edge with the roller and put a nice, you know, curved... Uh, edge on a piece of wood. Well, I decided to use it differently. I brought it down below the lip of the wood and then I actually uh, ran the mill and allowed the cutter to go under the edge. Okay? And when I did that, I was able to take the mill and I went around and I cut a nice inside edge. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so after my milling operation, you can see I ended up with this little indented uh, area here. It's about an uh, eighth of an inch from the bottom edge. Real nice and uniform. So now I can take my perforated metal, lay it in there, put a little adhesive on it, and then I have a nice ventilated top for the cabinet. Something I obviously couldn't do without my milling machine. All right, well, while prepping the front panel, I noticed that there was this additional funny little tin label that was stuck on the front. I thought, well, who knows why they did that, but I, I needed it off there because I need it right down to this aluminum. So when I peeled it off, I noticed it had the same lettering underneath of it. And I thought, well, what the heck's that all about? And then I got looking at it. If you look real close, it's not the same because they misspelled everything, okay? They stuck a bunch of R's in here. Instead of decoder, it's decroder. Instead of amplifier, it's amplifier, right? And instead of discrete, they got uh, C-R-E-E-T. So they really boned up. Uh, but instead of re-silk screening, they decided, well, we'll just put a label on there and that should take care of it. Obviously, they didn't have spell check in Japan. <laughs> 